Hello, my name is uh, Mr. William Scott Cowie. My students call me Mr. Cowie. At the end of this year, I'll have been teaching in Magno for six years. When Magno opened, I was still in high school, 10,000 kilometers away in Edinburgh in Scotland. At the time uh, in Scotland, trying to get into a public university was virtually impossible. There were so few public universities and my parents couldn't afford to send me to a private university. So I joined the military and I became a, a Queen's Guard with a red jacket and the, the big hat. But after two years, standing still for two hours can get kind of boring. So I then applied to join the Special Forces. I loved the Special Forces, I loved it. It was my introduction to adventure and that, that I realized that I couldn't do it all my life. So I decided to leave. Then I got the opportunity to go and live in Saudi Arabia. I lived there for eight years. I did my first three years with the Saudi Ministry of Defense. I was a logistics manager and then I became a operations manager for the Royal Commission. That was when a, young, a group of young Saudis asked me if I could teach them English. And for something to do, I said, yeah, sure, absolutely, yeah, I can do that. And I do have to say I wasn't very good because my previous uh, teaching training had been the military. So I, I did a bit of studying and learned some teaching techniques and the correct way to try and do it. And then that, that was me, I was, I was now in teaching. I then went on and, and became a, an English teacher in Thailand. I lived in Thailand for three years. I also did a, a year in Hong Kong, 18 months in the Philippines, three years in Germany, a year and a half in Holland. And then I returned to the UK and that was where I got a job at uh, Oxford University as English language teacher for stu foreign students. And I thought my traveling was finished, my adventures were over, but then in about 2006, I met someone from Brazil and they said to me, have you ever been to Brazil? And I, no, you know, oh, you should go there and, you know, open an English school. So I did. I came to Brazil in about 2006. I went down to Santa Maria. Rio Grande do Sul. I opened an English school and then I met a young lady from uh, Sao Paulo. We had to make a decision, did she come down to Santa Maria or did I come up to Sao Paulo? So I packed up and arrived in Sao Paulo. And then six years ago, I got an email asking me to come for an interview. And I have to be honest, I looked at it and it was like, Magico de Oz? What's that, like wizard or something? What's that? So I thought, oh, I'll, go, I'll go for the interview anyway. And I had my interview with Mauricio. And I, and I remember at the interview, I said, look, the one thing I don't want to do is teach any more English. I'll teach history, I'll teach economics, whatever you want, but preferably not English. So then I found out I was going to be the composition literature teacher. The honest truth is, I love it. I do try very hard to give as much assistance as I can to my students because it's not easy. Learning Shakespeare in a foreign language, learning Homer, writing poetry in English in a foreign language, I couldn't do it in Portuguese. Most of the students do know that I am, I'm there to help. You know, you've got a problem, you've got a question, you come and ask me. I'm not a special individual. I've just been very, very lucky. I've been in the right place at the right time and my life has been an adventure. I think that helps me connect to my students. Telling the students some of my adventures makes them think that anything's possible. If this guy from Scotland can go off and do all these different things, well, yeah, there's room for me, I, can, I could do that. I try and tell my students the word if. Don't sit here 10 years from now and say, I wonder what would have happened if I had done that. Go and do it, see. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, well, adapt, do something else. I just love what I do. I honestly do. I mean, I know it's very cliched, you know, oh yes, I love my job, but I actually do. When I was in Special Forces, I was, I was like a rock. I mean, I was, I was a hard individual. Two years ago, I was asked to speak at the graduation and I, I basically, I couldn't get through it. I had tears around them. Oh my gosh, my, my students are leaving. I do connect to them and I, and I you know, I, I do my best to try and help them move forward with their, with their studies. And maybe, just maybe, 
in some way help them with their life in the future. If I had to define Magno in a word, it would, I'd have to use two. Amazing opportunity. It's been an amazing opportunity for me, but equally so an amazing opportunity for the students. When you see how they grow and develop, both as people and as in terms of knowledge, I think it's an amazing opportunity. I'm very glad I came to Magical Day Oz. Yeah. This is Magno, and this is my story.